going on, y'all? Class Sports Talk 5 is back at it. We have both Spurs win their fifth NBA championship. And no, I'm not wearing black. Actually, I am wearing black for the Spurs. No, I'm really not. But whatever. Let's get right to the point. A couple things I want to talk about with this victory and their fifth title in franchise history. The Spurs didn't just win, they dominated this series. Their margin of victory was double digits throughout the whole series. And it just got me thinking, like, did the Spurs just prove that you don't really need a superstar to win a title? And by that, I mean, you knew you could sort of win one title like the 04 Pistons did it, but the Spurs are sort of a dynasty here because this is their fifth title in 15 years. And listen, right now, they just showed you they don't have a superstar on the team. Yeah, I get it. There's Hall of Famers on the Spurs, but they don't have a superstar. They, and the Heat do. And all the Spurs are is they just play together. They're selfless. They play team ball. So really, all these franchises that are going after Melo, K-Love, I get it. I really do. I'm just saying, kind of put a thought out there that, you know what, team ball, having the right set of guys, being selfless, but willing to take a pay cut, that might be more important than just accumulating superstars. So that was my first thing. Second, Kawhi Leonard, man, listen, I knew Kawhi Leonard was going to be good. I just didn't think he'd be this good this quick. You're talking about winning finals MVP. Listen, that just put Kawhi Leonard on the map because he's the Spurs future now, and he's on the brink of stardom. I mean, he really locked down LeBron James, and he improved his game offensively. He took major strides this year, and this finals MVP officially put Kawhi Leonard on the map. He's officially entered or is knocking on the door of star status. Kind of like, remember when Chauncey Billups won the finals MVP for the Pistons? He wasn't a, a star, but he sort of became one, made numerous all-star teams after that. I think you can expect the same from Kawhi Leonard, who's just 22 years old. This is crazy. Third thing, Tim Duncan has cemented himself as the greatest power forward of all time. Listen, before it used to be a debate, if anyone tells you otherwise... Um, they're lying or they don't know basketball or what they're talking about. Tim Duncan is now the greatest power forward of all time. Uh, five titles, three finals MVPs, two NBA MVPs. What a career. And listen, to be that selfless and to be able to take pay cuts and be able to accept whatever role. Listen, Tim Duncan was not mad the least at Kawhi Leonard won MVP. He was never mad when Tony Parker won finals MVP because Tim Duncan is a selfless star, and now you got five titles. I mean, when you talk about the greatest power forwards of all time, you say Malone, Barkley, Dirk, KG. All of those combined don't have as many titles as Tim Duncan does by himself. Tim Duncan's the greatest part of all, power forward of all time. No questions asked. I don't even want to hear about it. We have it, folks. Um, subscribe to the channel. I'm going to be talking about free agency we got coming up. The draft is coming up. The mellow rumors. Where's LeBron going to go? All of that good stuff. I'll keep you guys updated with daily videos. Just please subscribe and comment below on your thoughts. And hit me up on Twitter. Man, I love debating, talking sports. Link for that below. Fourth thing, listen, Spurs might not be done yet. Tim Duncan comes back, Pop manages minutes, him, Manu, and Tony, and I think they can do this again. Kawhi is a year uh, better. Um, they have two understood free agents in Boris Dion, Patty Mills, and they seem to love playing for the Spurs, so they could possibly come back. It's very possible. Um, if the Spurs come back with this core group, they could contend again, and they could win it all again next year. I mean... Unless Houston gets mellow or something big happens in the offseason, you could be looking at another title for the Spurs because I don't think they're going anywhere. I've made the mistake of writing them off way too many times, and I'm not going to do it again. Spurs are not too old. They could be back, and I will not be surprised at least if they are.